Hello to everyone. My name is Mario Romero, the National Director of RedX. RedX is the National Investment and Export Network of Paraguay. It's part of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce of my country. And it's a real privilege for me to be in this virtual uh, platform of AMPA 2020 with access to the main stakeholder of the auto part and motor part industry of the world. I would like to congratulate the huge effort made by the, the organization to put together this event in order to promote and offer the much needed window of opportunities for business reactivation in this difficult time. RedX is an investment export network promotion a government agency in charge of promoting and articulating the opportunities, not only for Paraguay enterprises, but also for enterprises around the, the world interested in developing their business capability in the region. In this respect, the auto part and vehicle assembly is one of the a strategic sector of economic development due to its importance and rele relevance in the domestic and regional economic and recently the historic agreement in the automotive sector in Mercosur that elevate Paraguay in a highly strategic position within the regional value chain of the automotive industry. The pandemic had set more, uh, in motion a series uh, of trends that could redefine the strategic production and logistics of many sectors. We consider that the, the time is right uh, for you to consider Paraguay as an option for the future plans of growth in an even fast changing environment. Beside the presentation to be introduced by our specialists in, in this opportunity, I would like to put at your disposition the entire team of RedX for any consultation. Do not hesitate to contact us and uh, enjoy this wonderful opportunity of virtual platform AMPA 2020. Thank you very much. Hi everyone. This is Jose King, specialist of the auto parts and vehicle assembly platform of RedX of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce of Paraguay. It is a great pleasure of mine to have this unique opportunity to present the breakthroughs in the automotive industry of the main economic bloc of Latin America, Mercosur. We hope that the presentation can contribute to the constant and tireless search for opportunities of growth of your company. Without further ado, let's get into it. In this opportunity, we would like to present you the new scenario in the automotive industry in Latin America and the opportunities of growth and expansion for your company. Before we go into the details of the main aspects of the automotive agreement, we would like to present a brief introduction of the context in which it is developed. Mercosur is launched in 1991 as a customs union among Paraguay, Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. The combined GDP of Mercosur is about $4.6 trillion with a combined population of 295 million inhabitants. The bloc is the fifth largest economy in the world and its territory extends throughout 14.8 million square kilometers. Paraguay is a founding and full member of the bloc. Unprecedented negotiations in the automotive sector were held for years. In the year 2019, Paraguay has successfully concluded its first agreement in the automotive sector with Argentina and Brazil, respectively. These agreements are now fully enforced, providing the legal framework that guarantees production and trade among the member countries. The 
lead underlying principle in the bilateral agreements of the automotive sector is to enhance and deepen the integration of the regional value chain, bringing together the most competitive factors of each country in order to achieve a more competitive Mercosur product. It is fair to say that this kind of initiative is unprecedented in the region in such an important sector. Therefore, we can undoubtedly say that a new scenario for the automotive industry in Latin America is arising. Now let's get into the details. The scope of application of the agreements is comprised by the following products. Cars or commercial vehicles, buses, trucks, road tractors for semi-trailer, chassis with engine and cabin, trailer and semi-trailer, farm tractor, harvester, and self-propelled farm machinery, self-propelled road machinery, and finally, auto parts. One of the most important component of any agreement is the market access condition. We can divide the market access requirements for all the products mentioned earlier into two categories, free and unlimited market access and special or condition market access. In order to gain free and unlimited market access to the regional market, two important conditions must be achieved. The general rule of origin in the automotive sector, where the regional value content of 50% or higher must be reached. The second condition is the change in tariff heading, where a certain material, raw, parts, or components, regardless to its weight of value, or origin changes its tariff code heading to its processing or assembly. When one of these two requirements is complied with, the product is considered as a Mercosur product, gaining free and unlimited access to the regional market. Now, what happens if regional value content nor change of tariff heading cannot be achieved? Paraguay, due to its latecomer condition, has been granted special market access conditions. The first is the differentiated regional value content for auto parts. From 2020, Paraguay can export its production of auto parts without import tariff for a combined amount of $387 million with a differentiated RVC of 40% instead of 50%. The combined quota represents the aggregate of Brazilian and Argentinian markets. These amounts increase gradually as well as the differentiated RVC. It is expected that by the year 2027, Paraguayan production of auto parts reaches the RVC of 50% and thus enjoy free and unlimited regional market. Another key component that could be very attractive for investment is the production of vehicles of alternative motorization. Paraguay and Brazil have granted reciprocally free trade for vehicles of alternative motorization, not internal combustion engines, for 10,000 units per year from 2020, with a differentiated RVC of only 30%. The amount of units is fixed, and by the year 2024, the RVC must reach 35%. This applies to all types of non-traditional motorization, such as electric vehicles, hydrogen cells, gas, biofuel, and others. There is another segment with a special market access condition. 
As for the non-traditional motorization vehicles, the production of new vehicle model has a differentiated RVC with its respective quota. It is said that for those vehicles that has not been produced in the region yet, the required RVC is 35% from 2021 and on, for an amount of 3,000 units per year. Taking into account the special and differentiated market access conditions for auto parts and selected vehicle segments, combined with the competitive production costs, makes Paraguay a formidable platform for your company's strategies for growth and expansion. So, how can your company materialize these opportunities into reality? Following up, we would like to present you a simple production scheme incorporating the main incentive regimes. The production strategy goes as simple as it is. Your company can import raw materials, parts and components, capital goods, such as machinery and equipment with zero import tariff. These combined with your technology and know-how and production factors of Paraguay, the outcome could be one of the most competitive in the region. The production factors such as electricity, real estate, and labor are among the most competitive in the region. Skill labor force programs are run without any cost to your company according to specification and the tax regime is the simplest and most competitive with the Mercosur. It is important to mention that Paraguay is the number one world producer per capita of clean and renewable electric energy, allowing a low carbon footprint in the production process, adding value for selected markets and products. Once the manufacturing process is finished, these products can be exported to any country around the world. For this specific case, with the certification of origin, according to the parameters already explained, the products can be exported to the Mercosur region without import tariff levied on them. For the auto power industries of Tier 1, providing directly to the main OEMs of the region under the GIT production system, they can deliver their production within 72 hours via land transportation. In Paraguay, there are six multinational companies of Tier 1 in the automotive cable harness segment, successfully operating in the country since 2013. Another important segment of auto parts is the aftermarket, comprised by auto parts for replacement and accessories. In 2018, the Brazilian aftermarket has registered a total value of about $30 billion for 585 million units. By 2023, the market is expected to be valued at $30.7 billion for 653 million units. Before the pandemic of COVID-19, e-commerce was a growing trend in this segment and it is expected for a faster growth at post-pandemic era. The proximity of Paraguay to the main consumer centers in the region is ideal for the development of e-commerce since consumers can dispose of the required product in a considerably shorter time compared to those delivered from Asia, Europe, or United States. Companies operating in Paraguay can offer customized product training to main buyers and can reduce the inventory and financial cost of the whole upstream change. We have come to the end of the presentation. We understand that all the implications and opportunities cannot be explained in full detail in this summarized presentation, and we assume that a lot of questions have surged. If that were the case, we are happy to answer them 
through our emails here presented. For more information about the opportunities of investment in Paraguay and investment in centigrade teams, we put at your disposition the presentation Paraguay Land of Opportunities. With the hope of hearing from you in the near future, we thank the organization of APA 2020 and TITRA for their support and all of you for your attention.